And on our great, great American panel, he was the White House political director under President George W. Bush. Matt Schlapp is back with us. He was part of the Obama campaign media propaganda team, Democratic strategist Steve Murphy. And she is a fellow with, I can't help myself, with Project 21 and propaganda. Fox News contributor. Deneen Borelli is back with us, guys. Uh, welcome back to the program. A right, quick reaction to tonight so far. Link, you're, you're working on the Lincoln campaign. Um, well, I'm feeling very good about that now. I, I think it actually probably looks good for her, although it may be closer by the time all the numbers are counted. But as I think the Republicans probably want her because she's on record with these votes and, that are not popular in the state of ah, Arkansas. She's a comeback kid now. She's showing how tough she is. <laughs> you don't want to mess with Blanche. What do you think? Did well, he? here's the thing. If you're an incumbent, you know, um, they're responsible for government gone wild, okay? And the American people are watching. They're taking note. They're doing their research. And they want to be held, they want our elected representatives to be held accountable, plain mm. and simple. Record deficit, the spending, the debt. It's outrageous the shape our country is in right now. And the American people have had enough. You know, approval of Congress is 26%. I mean, I mean, which is phenomenal. 60% of the American people say that the country's seriously on the wrong track. 88% of Americans think the economy is in worse shape, and more people now blame Barack Obama for the economy than George Bush. That's right. I mean, let's look at this, really. I mean, the American people want to shake up politics, and they want new faces in Washington, D.C. We've seen this with Arlen Specter, who was a Republican, became a Democrat, no longer going to be a senator in January. We've seen this in Utah with Bob Bennett. This is not all a problem for Democrats, but there is no question that what's rolling out of these elections is a lot of enthusiasm and excitement on the Republican side. Well, all right, good point. Well, let's, for example, this is Nancy Pelosi at a progressive conference getting heckled, not by friends of Sean Hannity, Steve, but by liberals. Watch this. Hmm? That's okay. That's okay. I don't know if we can stop it. Yeah. too many of them. No, wait. All right. wait no, just a moment. Okay, you have made your point. They're throwing stuff. We need to leave. Look, I am going to have... Um, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. You have made your point. Okay. Listen, I'm used to noise. I talk to the Democratic Caucus every single day. And they're also, liberals are now actively and, and, and outspoken against the president. Nobody wants to be seen with them, Steve. Well, you see, this is leftist. Who the, Those are leftists <laughs> oh, demonstrating against her because of her moderate policy, Sean. <laughs> oh, wow. She would have been much safer walking through That's a good tea spit. Party I give him credit. Crowd. What? Much safer walking through a Tea Party crowd yeah, than exactly. with this group. Right? Or Nancy Pelosi. She's got the worst numbers of any speaker probably in 100 years, and she's not even popular when she speaks to progressives. I feel sorry for her today. Well, I don't know. I never feel sorry for her. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at Charlie Rangel while we got time. And this is him criticizing the president on the oil spill. I don't think the administration has the slightest clue. We bringing in experts now in and outside of government to see whether or not uh, BP can do more. But we should have the answers to that long before they even drilled. Now we're trying to find the answer after the problem. The potential danger was always there. You know, it doesn't get any more liberal than Charlie Rangel. I don't think the administration has the slightest clue. I can't believe he's even throwing Obama under the bus. <laughs> <It laughs> Mr. Seems... I can't pay my taxes, Rangel. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, mm. it's the progressives are turning on their own. And he, wait, wait, hold on a second. Why, why couldn't one, one Pennsylvania politician, Democrat, when the president comes to the great state of Pennsylvania, show up and, and, and surround themselves with the president. Why do you think that is, Steve? Oh, I don't think it's people trying to stay away from Barack Obama. I think it's a <laughs> timing of the event. All the politicians were in Washington uh, doing their I, job I, in Congress. I, I almost feel like you've got Robert Gibbs' job tonight to spin that. Do you, obviously, <laughs> we disagree. He's sitting in the middle. That's yeah. his problem, is he thinks where he's sitting matters. Look, I think this is... The, the, watching the Democrats criticize each other for a Republican like me, I don't think there's much I should say. Let's just let them keep talking. Yeah, hey, there's hey, an oil hang well on. a mile under the water. For, it's uh, a we'll big get to that problem. In a we'll get to oil in a minute. 147 days out, by then, that oil's hitting the beaches, and then President Obama's going to pay a much bigger price politically than I think people think.